Bonjour! And not bonsoir because it's not dark. It's a new moon. We are on March 23rd, Jeff. We are. Where are we? And I am at the Loach with our very good friend, Jeff Colton. Jeff Colton manages this amazing place that is called the Loach Vineyard in the heart of the Russian River Valley. Heaven. Condensed. And this is God himself in <sighs> heaven. Yeah. Providing this beautiful scene, dear friends, in the heart of the historical Russian River. Remember, the Loach is the most Burgundian of all estates in the heart of the Russian River. Not only owned by a Burgundy family that I'm very fortunate to belong to, but as well making stellar wines. Absolutely amazing wines. Pinot Noir, Chardonnay right here on the property. Just sensational. And we are in the estate, dear friends, that is organic and biodynamic. So what do we do in the world of organic and biodynamic is we encourage nature to be in full dialogue with us as human beings and in full synergy with the world at large. Interaction of the moon with the earth that we know that rotates around the sun. So the key element of nature is to let, as you could see, nature communicate with the vines and build competition in the vineyards. Joe Papendik and I a few weeks ago showed you at Raymond Vineyards how we let mustard grow and how we have our wonderful sheep mow the mustards. Today, what we're going to demonstrate is how we use this amazing mustard flower and from there create the seed and from there create mustard. So Jeff Colton, who's been with the family for over 10 years now in a very, very talented way, is managing this beautiful place here in the Russian River, has trained in Burgundy, not only on the wine, but as well on the mustard, with a great family, this Armenian family who owns Edmond Fallo, which is the first bone moutarderie founded in 1840. So today we're going to show you exactly how we make mustard. But maybe a little background on mustard. What is so important to remember is before the French, the Egyptian, as always, that's where it starts really are at the origin of mustard. With all kinds of spices, today mustard is derived in 2,000 different forms. But then came to France, thanks to the Roman, and the Romans started to establish the culture of mustard with vinegar, with wine, and then it came to Burgundy in the town of Dijon and Beaune, and it really became a tradition to use white vinegar, red vinegar, and wine. And we call as well the verju, that wine or grapes that it not yet riped, that you harvest before harvest, and you use as that very highly acidic juice to make, obviously, verju juice and mustard. So all those techniques were really developed in Burgundy. And today, Jeff, for us will demonstrate how we make burgundy mustard. Not only Dijon, but bone, small variants. And the one technique we're gonna be using is obviously the manual technique of how to make mustard, which you can actually do as well at your house. So at the Loach, we decided to have our own mustard. We right, have, Jeff? We absolutely have. And we partnered again as with, with the amazing Fallow family to do so. Uh, we have the beautiful mustard planted in the vineyards. We have some here for us as well. But uh, it's an amazing, oh, thank you so much for pouring me a little glass of our double gold, newly awarded uh, San Francisco Chronicle double gold Cabernet Sauvignon. Congratulations to the entire Deloach team on such a, a wonderful award. But uh, cheers, jean Shell. Well, our mouth was getting dry, dear friends, because we're gonna be now manually working it's to a lot of show work. you how we make mustard. It's so, a lot of work. And so in Burgundy, well, of be, course... Before we get there, oh, Jeff, yes. you've got to describe this wine because this is, this is really the essence. Well, the, the glass tells the story with the beautiful passion glassware as well. I have the B, 
the feeling to be next to the cathedral of Bone and listening to Notre Dame of Bone. Beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon, extremely well balanced nose, great fruit flavors, absolutely exquisite. So we're going to roll our sleeves, as we say. Uh, now is the time. Now is the time. So what we've done is we wanted to showcase a little bit about mustard and mustard seed. Now mustard grows extremely well, of course, uh, in Burgundy, but they grew it there for a lot of different reasons. One was, as you know, the French government mandated that we create coal before World War II for all of the exploration of the world, uh, for all of the use in its military as well. And so the coal burning stoves in the ships of the uh, uh, amazing uh, steel horse, which became the uh, wonderful trains that went all over Europe, they used coal burning stoves. And so they used uh, these beautiful oak forests to create ash more or less, in coal. And the pot of shash that was left behind is where uh, the mustard grew so extremely well. It was the high acidity in the soil. Um, it's what helped out with the beautiful grapevines that are there now. And so they planted ash behind, or they planted mustard seed in the ash behind where they burnt down the forest so that you could have this wonderful mustard. And then of course Dijon being the recipe from which mustard was created uh, followed behind that. So they took these beautiful seeds, which we have here. We have the, the seeds themselves, the brown seeds. And then when you crush the brown seeds, what you get is this wonderful uh, mustard color, the bright gold, the, the mixture within as well. And you can see that it slowly turns into this beautiful yellow mixture that we have here. And so you start with the brown seeds, which we can add so some more. So let's do it here. Ah, perfect. So Jean-Charles, what we'll do is we'll start here and I'll let That's you right. grind some seeds. So, so I'll put you more see, in. you ground it very similar to Himalayan salt, if you want to play with it. That is perfect. And you go around like this, clockwise, counterclockwise. So we create energy and chaos. Same thing as a wine tasting. Remember, you go left and you go right and you start to get this beautiful conversion of color. So the inside of those seeds comes out. Then we're going to add a little bit of our beautiful uh, Pinot Noir Blanc that we created for the first time this year at Deloche Vineyards. So we've elected today to make what we love in bone, as an example, is a mustard made with wine. You could do the same as we discuss with vinegar. But we love this recipe because obviously we make the wine and we cultivate the beautiful plant of mustard. So basically you create this little mash that is here absolutely gorgeous. You can hear that nice sound. Obviously we're doing a small sampler. I need to tell you as a child, Jeff, my grandmother loved the freshness of mustard. So what we're doing today, we were exactly doing before a meal. And I remember forever, she would say, we're starting the barbecue or we're starting, you know, the oven, depending what we were cooking. And when we were making rabbit with mustard, she was having me do that before we put all of that on the skin of the mustard. And it's fun because, dear friends, you cannot imagine something fresher and obviously you need to do this exercise for a little while so you break in the seed so you take again maybe the greenness maybe the herbaceous feel mm -hmm. of the mustard but you know in Chinese culture as well that Chinese mustard which is very unique as well on the spice scent is very cool and that's how they do it. You well, can try it, it. It's amazing because of course you mentioned Chinese, Romans, Greeks, they use it for medicinal purposes but back in the Middle Ages uh, they of course use mustard as well uh, as a, uh, a supplement for pepper because uh, many people couldn't have pepper either yep. and so um, the, the use of mustard throughout the ages has been extremely important. So look I mean, at this, look, at look how, how cool. beautiful this is. It is absolutely gorgeous where you get that wonderful raw mustard look. So uh, if we keep going and 
we keep going. I need another five, here. six minutes, but <laughs> that's what we end up with. So we made this last week, and with mustard, you like to ferment the mustard, so all the flavors come together. And so we made this last week here for you, uh, using the mustard seed, mm -hmm. and uh, continue to grind it down and whatnot, yeah. and then and then you have the beautiful mustard here, which is the finished uh, product that we so have. So from that stage, what's the next step? To we get actually there? put it inside of a crock, and you let it ferment, mm. and so you 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 put it inside there. Uh, put it and cover it, put it in your refrigerator, and uh, give it some time, and you get the amazing mustard. So you're basically leaving in the fridge for one week. I, a week to ten days is what we've done here, yeah, That's absolutely, right. for, to make the deluxe mustard that we do. So we'll do the same thing with this one today, and that's mustard. So when you think of the ingredients, the one thing you maybe add to it is salt. Yes, there is a bit of salt. Maybe a little pepper, if you decide so, but it's up to you. So when people say to me, mustard is fattening, no, it's not. Not at all. So feel very comfortable. It's when you add sugar and you add other composition to it. But mustard, the French way, is really, really pure. Basically, the seeds, as we saw, the grounding, the wine, a little salt. You could add, obviously, herbs as well. You want to add rosemary, you want to add romarin, you want to add chives, you want to add garlic, you want to add anything you wish, you do it as such. So when you come and visit us at the Loach and you come for a marvelous barbecue or one of our wonderful wine club events here Absolutely. in the heart of the Russian River, in the beautiful wind and the rolling hills, you can actually see the river which is right there. This is what you're going to be able to make. So we still have the activity, of course, of making mustard and we do special events with mustard making. So, Jeff, Jean Charles, what are you going to use this mustard for? What? Pork tenderloin this evening. We're going to do a lovely spinach uh, saute with some pork tenderloin. We'll, we'll use the mustard on top of the pork tenderloin. It's going to be fantastic. Maybe some sweet potato hash. Ooh. Who knows? Mm. Something delicious. But anyways. And you know what I love? I just enjoyed the mustard you've made. Perfectly balanced, not too much of a bite. The beauty with wine is you have a softer finish. If you go vinegar, you have a more acidic finish, which is great for sauces and, mm -hmm. you know, vinaigrette, and obviously if you desire, mignonette and all of that. Oh, but if you want to have it as Jeff will tonight, our recommendation is obviously with the Deloach white wine. So, dear friends, join us. At the Loach Vineyards, award-winning wine, double gold, and making your own mustard. Come and visit. Cheers. Cheers.